I've been studying neo-humanist education since 1983, and I've spent my entire career working with young children and uh, in early childhood primarily, but also as a music teacher, early intervention and early childhood special, and most recently as a college professor. And I have thought very deeply about how neo-humanism fits in the world of child development and the way we study children. I have found that students who have had many years of experience with children or who are new to the field or who are parents, you know, this course is for them because they get to really explore in their own way, in an open-ended way, the implications of theories and strategies and ideas about children. And the dialogue that we develop is very rich. It's kind of a wild ride because I cover prenatal up to early adolescence development in eight weeks. <laughs> and I, uh, you know, we just take, we just have a lot of fun with it every step of the way. And just those, those overarching ethical and spiritual values, I think everyone responds to no matter what culture they're coming from or what language base they have. I have a lot of practical experiences for the students where we really go out and interview children, assess them, take a look at what's going on in their world, observe them as much as we can. When you put the neo-humanist lens on child development theories and practices, you get a larger worldview to see how we fit, how the, how the human being fits in um, our society as well as our world yeah. um, <laughs> and our uniqueness and whether or not there actually is a ceiling on human potential in neo-humanism we don't think there is i encourage anyone to just get their feet wet just jump in and see how no matter how much experience they may already have or how much knowledge in this topic it might change for them or might just move them forward a little further in their own growth and development or in their own career to take a look at child development in a, from a neo-humanist perspective.